Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Dominican Route News. Let's talk a little bit about the weather, as we always do. Today's temperature is 93 Fahrenheit. This is a perfect time if you want to come down to the beach and you want to just lay back. This is the time for you to do it. There's no rain. So you know that the world witnessed the Olympics, the Olympic Games in, in Paris, and where you have all the best athletes in the world, so they, they get together and they do their best representing their country. So in our case, we, we brought gold. Dominican Republic brought gold with Marilady Paulino. Um, so the Dominican runner, Mari Lady Paulino had a great performance in her preliminary races in Paris 2024. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about crime. Because we have been um, lately um, seeing in the Dominican Republic a couple of crimes that we are not used to see that much, you know. It's the type of crime that you see on, on the movies, or you watch Netflix or HBO and you see that. This woman... Uh, all right, let me let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. So, this is the lady. This is the woman that you're seeing right here. She's the first lieutenant of the Dominican Army, and she beheaded her six-year-old daughter this uh, Thursday morning <clears throat> in Santo Domingo. This woman, it's a medical lieutenant, Ana Josefa Garcia, and um, she's of a she's 44 year old. 44 years old so and she caught caught off her daughter's head inside her residence located on the third floor of a residential area in, in Santo Domingo according to sources linked to the investigation the girl's head was found in the bathroom while the body remained in the kitchen so this has actually shot the community and this first lieutenant worked as an occupational therapy doctor which she basically did she cut off her daughter's head and she has another son which is young who's his younger but he was there so he probably he she did it in front of him because yeah you you're not going to do something like that and no one is going to notice obviously this girl was screaming or something and the little boy who was in the house, he saw, he saw what happened. So when the police came, oh, she said that someone broke into the house and did that. But you know what the police did? They went check the cameras and they didn't see anyone breaking anything. Um, so then all of the evidence led to her. And after that, she confessed. So I just told you about a mother that cut off her daughter's head and left the head in the kitchen and then she dragged the body no she left the head in the bathroom and then she dragged the body to the kitchen I'm not sure what she was planning to do with the body if she wanted to cut more pieces but I don't know but two days before that um, then we had another mother that she jumped off a bridge no it wasn't a bridge um, she jumped off a building a residential building um, I think it was from the fifth floor well let me tell you the story this is the woman right this is the woman right here this is the one so a 25 year old a uh, girl jumped from the from the fourth floor yesterday with her two-year-old daughter in her arms um, so her name was Genesis Lugo she died instantly this girl she had a sister well she sister is alive but is in prison for the crime of molesting uh, her niece so her niece is the one that just died with the mother if that makes sense to her. so this girl 25 year old girl that jumped from the fourth floor she had already some depression symptoms and on top of that, her sister molested her daughter. And on top of that, then she was robbed like a month before that. She was assaulted in the street. And then 
all those problems together, it triggered a bad decision. When she did it, her husband, the father of the deceased girl, who was sleeping, he didn't even know what happened. He, he was, uh, people w woke him up, and when he woke up, what he saw was his wife and his daughter dead. You know, the depression is real. Mental health is, is a real problem. You are human, and at some point of your life, obviously, you are gonna you are gonna have problems. You will be depressed, good, because you're human. But I would advise you to talk to someone. You gotta talk to someone. Don't don't do stupid shit. Don't don't yourself. Don't do it. I know that life in in, in the United States is very 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 exhausting because. You gotta pay a lot of things, you gotta pay bills, high bills, you do gotta do a lot of stuff to survive. And you don't have time for you don't have time for you. All you gotta do is just go out, work and pay bills. And depression is not a problem that is just for for poor people. It's not just for it's for it's for anybody. You you can see that in in rich people, billionaires, and everybody. I know that in the US I know in the U.S., if you have any symptom of anything, you go to your primary doctor, and they, boom, they give you a prescription, buy this pill, and come back in 30 days to see how you are. And then you, you go back in 30 days, and and he's going to give you another prescription with, uh, with a six-month refill, and then he's going to tell you that come back in six months for a checkout. And then, before you know, you are addicted to pills and and this and that, and the problem is there. It's still there. Um, talk to people. Try to do sports. Do something. Keep yourself busy, and don't don't keep it to yourself. Talk to someone. Talk. Let it out. Let it out. Find a hobby. Find something to do. Find a sport. Whatever. Something. Everybody's good at something. You're good at something. And, and you are here for a purpose. Everybody's here for a purpose. I always say that there are three types of people. There's people from around the way, there's people that's in the way, and there's people that make a way. Big motion. Here is the stupidity of the week. Thank you very much for supporting the Dominican Route channel. Thank you very much for supporting the Dominican Route News. Um, please subscribe, click the like button, and I'll see you next week. Residential Bye. Catalea has one, two, and three bedrooms beachfront suites. Call or text the Dominican Route today. Everything is turnkey for you. We will take you step by step in purchasing your beachfront property in the Dominican Republic. You can use it to live in, rental, Airbnb, or just a summer getaway home. These beautiful properties are located in Guayacanes, Dominican Republic. 20 minutes from the airport in Santo Domingo. Call or text today on WhatsApp 225-409-8806. Don't procrastinate on these beautiful beachfront properties. Reach out now.